What's up everybody? What we have today is an assortment of LED lights from Diode Dynamics. Uh, I've did these in other vehicles that I had. Diode Dynamics is a great company. I believe that they give a three year warranty on all their bulbs and they stand behind it. I've had to have one or two get replaced, uh, which isn't very bad for probably the 50 of these things that I've bought for different vehicles over the years. Uh, but I have had to have a couple of them replaced, just like any manufacturing process, some you get some bad apples. But uh, what I went ahead and went with, I've got HP3s. Now they've changed the design of the top of this bulb a little bit. It's gonna be interesting to see the uh, different light output that I get out of this. This is a little bit different on the top uh, than what I've gotten in the past. I wish I had a picture of what those look like, but I do not on hand right now. So I got HP3s that I'm going to put in the front map lights. Those will be plenty bright enough. And then I bought the HP 5s a little bit brighter that'll go in the back. Uh, because what I noticed on my last uh, couple scat packs is the HP 3 in the back wasn't quite bright enough to light up all the back of the uh, passenger compartment. But these right here are. These two right here, the SML8 LED light bulbs. I got those to go in the bottom of the doors. Uh, and these right here for the trunk. So these I bought to be bright in the trunk, these a little bit brighter, and it puts a good lighting on the ground of the car. And I'm just gonna record one side of this and then the trunk uh, and get the interior lights, just to kind of show, show you guys how easy it is to change these bulbs out on your truck. You're gonna start with these in the front. Where I'm gonna start, find the front lip here and get it popped out. You see you got your little pot there. At the back, right here, you squeeze this right here, pop this bulb out of here. All right, so that was a little hard to do one-handed, but this is the little plastic piece here that you're gonna push in on, and the bulb really kiss come right out. I had to go get my tripod. So what you'll be left with is this right here, and what you're gonna do you let this cool down, okay? I've let this cool down for about a minute because if this bulb's on for more than about 15 seconds, it's gonna be burn your ass hot. So these just hook, take the old bulb out, put your new bulb in, hook it over both ends, plug it in, see if it works. All right, it does. Now I gotta flip the bulb around to where the light's facing the right direction. That would probably help me out with this process. So make sure you have it turned down where you want the freaking light. All right, so then of course, plug it back in straight forward. Plug it in, make sure that it works. This side in, pop that in. That one's installed. Do the same for the back doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the back door here and get a side-by-side -side comparison of what the lights look like. All right, so that's a factory yellow light that gets hot as shit. And this right here is the, and it's blending in with the 5000K LED shop lights I have here, but it is on as you can see. So it gives you a nice, clean, clear light. So I'm gonna do that for the other three doors get the bulbs replaced, same exact process, and we'll move on to the trunk. All right, same thing goes for the trunk here. You'll be able to see on the top, there's a little spot to put your pry tool, pry it out. The lights are exactly the same in the trunk. The wires are just a little bit shorter and harder to deal with here. So go ahead and pop out my harness there and try not to let yours fall back behind the panel like mine just did. I'm gonna have to fish it out. But then in the same fashion, get some light on here. All right, now we got some light. So the same way that you did the ones for the doors. Remember, these are gonna be hot. You push in, pop it out. That's the old bulb out. Got the new bigger bulb to go in. Make sure it's facing the correct location. Down in there. And now I got to fish my harness out of there. This is the shortest one I've had in any of my vehicles. So let me get this harness out so I can plug it in. Something important to show, look, it's not on. Their lights are pole specific, which means, you know, most of the time when I plug it in, I seem to get it right. But every now and then when you plug one in, the light 
is back. So all you have to do, take your bowl and just turn it around. Flip it this way. Whoops, put it in, bam. So don't panic if at first you plug it in, it don't work. All right, so here's the difference between this light and that light. Let me get both of them in. I'll show you the inside of the trunk's really lit up. I mean, look how bright the trunk is with these lights. You can see all the way to the back, and that's not from my shop light. Let me close. Look, there's the trunk lid. See, there's the latch so you can see. That is bright in the trunk. So at night, you'll be able to see stuff all the way at the back instead of the little lights that within there. These are 5,000 times brighter and better. That's 5,000 K color temperature on all these bulbs too. Love diode dynamics. So next we'll go and replace one with the inside. So I'm back here in the back. I'm gonna be putting these HP fives that are a little bit brighter. Uh, and I'll do these in the back, but the brighter ones, cause there's no center dome light. All we have is these outside dome lights uh, in the handle. So what we're gonna do is right here on each side, just that little spot. And there's one right here. We're going to stick a little pry tool, our plastic pry tool in there, and pop those out. And behind it, there's going to be a torch bit. So let's get that. So right behind it here, you're going to have two T30 torx bits, one on each side. I'm going to go ahead and take these T30s out. And then I'm going to remove this grab handle and light assembly to get to the actual light that's back behind it. So when you get the T30s out, you'll just pull this handle right out uh, and you'll have this to unplug. So what you're going to do, if the camera will focus, is you'll just come right in and you'll move this down right here. So this right here, clip, you'll move that down, then unplug this bad boy. So it's gonna be hard to do with one hand. I really don't have anywhere to put my camera mount. Well, that actually started focusing for me. So I'll go ahead and show you right there. That little white, white piece, you'll just push that down and then you'll be able to pull this connector out and unplug the light. All right, so what you're gonna have with this is on this side, they're hooked in. On this side, you can pop the clip. So you just pop it out and the light will come out like so. And then you'll have your light, flip it over on this side, it's hooked under. You can see where it's hooked under. This side, you just take pry tool, pop it out, pop your bowl out, put your diamond dynamic bulb in. Once you get the diamond dynamic bulb in, I'm gonna go over to the car, lightly plug it in again right here and make sure that this bulb works and it's oriented correctly. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna take it out, flip it over, plug it back in, and that should have us ready to go. Okay, so I verified that it worked. Uh, one thing that I'd like to mention that I did notice on my car is that if your door's been open for a while, your interior lights will go off, so then you have to close the door and reopen them to re-energize the interior lights. Make sure you do that and don't think that your bulb's bad. Make sure the rest of your interior lights are on. So putting this back together is easy. Hook this back under, it just goes back in just like so, and then push that in. That's ready to go. Hook it under the back side right here. Push these in, make sure they're seated, and then we'll just go put it back in the car. Tighten up the torque bits and it's ready to go. The other side is exactly the same. And of course, show you the difference. That is the yellow light from the, that is the Dial Dynamic HP5. If we can, yeah, there's a lot more light on that side of the car than there is on this side of the car. So, awesome. I'm gonna get the other back one done, then we'll move on to the front. So here we are on the inside. We got these last two to do. Now, if anybody's seen like, uh, honestly, OCD also did a video similar to this where this light right here can't be changed. Uh, it's, to my understanding, it's on the Hellcats only that have this. I've had two different scat packs and neither one of them had this little light right here. All of them just had this one. So to change that, use your pry tool, get in behind it. There we go. You pull, pull down, then this locking tab, you push that, 
There we go. And you see right there is the lip that you got to get over. And then we'll pull down on this. Switch hands here because it's it's got a you know if you can see it it's kind of hooked in the back and you don't want to break your legs. Uh, so I need both my hands. Give me just a sec. Okay, so just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. It's got that kind of hook on the back side here when it goes in like this. You just have to you have to get back there. I've got this little pick. You have to get back there and try to get that pulled down and out. Let me get it. <laughs> Get this pulled down and out to get it out of here. So I was about at this angle right here, and I just had to wiggle this and use this pick kind of pushing at the top back here, and it finally popped out, okay? Just be careful with it. Don't You don't want to break your lenses. Uh, and on the light, I've already got this one out. Uh, I just kind of got over zealous, but I'll show you how I get it here, if you can even see. Then you get my pick, and these things are going to be hot, and I just kind of... Pull the light bulb out. So once I get it out, get these pushed the new diode dynamics ones back in, and then I'll replace the covers. So as you can see, the diode dynamic ones are 5,000K pure white and much, much brighter than the factory units. There's not much we can do about this little map light right here. What I will say is if you're really, really worried about it, I guess you could take that take this whole thing down and just disable this entire light and not worry about it. I think that's what honestly OCD did in one of his videos. He took this down. He wound up, I think unplugging or unsoldering this light maybe uh, to do what, do away with it. It'd be nice if somebody would retrofit one of these and kind of sell them on their site. Dial dynamics, but probably not going to happen if it hadn't happened already. So on these covers, pretty simple. You get them pushed back in, and it's going to be a pain in the butt to do with one hand, I'm sure, of course. There we go. So that back por portion's pushed back in, and then your front, it's not hard to see with this brighter light. Fairly simple. And we'll get both of them back on here, and then we're done. And that's the car cutting off. So I've got all of the interior lights here done. I may update these to the brighter ones, but I really, I don't think so. I have to see it at night to see. Uh, from what I remember, the HP3s were pretty plenty bright enough in the front. It's just the back needs a little bit more. Uh, I forgot about my glove box LED. I will be buying the glove box LED soon and having all my LEDs. I will not be doing the vanity mirrors because even on the uh, lowest brightness bulb that diode dynamics have is still too damn bright in my vanity mirrors. Uh, <coughs> and I don't use the vanity mirror, so it doesn't matter. But when my wife uses it, it blinds me in the driver's seat. So I know, I mean, you can't even look in the thing. So they're just too bright, in my opinion, uh, even the lowest brightness level that they offer. Uh, but diode dynamics is a great company. They offer warranty with their bulbs. I have you know, almost no issues with any of the bulbs that I've ever bought for them for across several different cars. Links will be in the description to the website. It's pretty simple. You sort by your vehicle, pick which vehicle you have, no matter which vehicle you, that you have. They'll have it on the site and have which bulbs that they make that are available for your vehicle. So thanks everybody for watching. I know it's another short video. I got more stuff coming. I've got some uh, pulleys from TBA Machine. Uh, I'm also looking into ordering a Ripatune anti-slip infinitely adjustable pulley uh, for the supercharger. I got my Gates green belts hanging up here, ready to go. So there will be more videos come. Thanks everybody for watching.